Hello, and welcome to our tutorials for working with listeners and events in Finesse Gadget Designer. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to open a pop-up window on the click of a button in our project. To start, drag a button onto our frame that we've already placed on our canvas. On the click of this button, we want to open up a pop-up window, but we first have to design that window. To do this, Go to the top of the designer and look for the toggle view button on the upper right hand side and click it. This opens up a new designer section where we can now design our pop-up window. Let's drag a frame and add whatever design we want to give our frame. I'll go ahead and click show header and give our frame a label. I'll label this frame message box. And we'll adjust the component ID as well. If we want to change the look and feel of the pop-up, we can do this from the Properties window. Let's give our frame a red border color. And of course, we can customize other elements if we wanted to, like the header font family, the header background color, the header text color, and so on. Now, drag a label component onto our frame, and we'll type a message into our label text. This is an error message. I'll move the label to the center and then change the text color of my label to black. And then I'll set the font style to bold. Also, let's add an icon to our pop-up. So drag a button to our frame. I'll resize the text to allow our button some room. On the button, we'll put an icon by going to the properties window and selecting Show Icon, and selecting an icon from the drop-down menu. We want to remove the label, so we'll uncheck Show Label, and we'll also uncheck Show Background as well. And that completes our pop-up window to be shown when we click on the button. Now that our pop-up is ready, we can go ahead and toggle our view back by clicking the button again at the top. Let's select our button and set it to deploy our newly created pop-up when we click it. To do that, go over to the Tools tab and click on Pop-up View. Once we click Pop-up View, it'll show the pop-up that we've just created. Now, if we wanted to create another pop-up, we can click the Toggle View section and design another window. We'll just quickly make a new window with a button in it and we'll name this button Pop-Up. Once we created it, if we go back to the Tools tab, we can see that now we have both of our windows that we've created. But let's select the first window we created, Message Box, by double-clicking on it. Then click the actual window to select it, and go over to Actions on the right, and click the Add button. We want to open this pop-up on the click of our button, so from the left column, we'll select the button that exists on our message box frame. Then, we'll click the Add button to choose the action Open, so that a click on this button fires an open event. And we'll click Save. Now, if we publish our project in the top right and refresh our window, we can test our button. Once we click our button, our pop-up is deployed, with the label and the icon image that we've added to our window. The message box is displayed with the header name we gave to our frame, as well as a close button. And that's about it. We've shown you how you can set a button click to deploy a pop-up window using actions and listeners in Finesse Gadget Designer. As always, thank you for watching.